three-year-old Philly Trotters for 2005. Here they come. And Jersey Gal, long shots leaving here. Cool and teen from the outside with early speed. And Lady Lifter on the inside. Long shots to mix it up early into the first turn. The favorite flawless Bluestone got away in the fourth position. Settles in around the first turn. Blur is fifth as they mix it up. Heading to the opening quarter. Just like Dream is racing six. Hercules getting whip taps from seventh. And Courtney Hall eighth on the outside past the quarter. Reinvent and Jalopy at the back. Two wide past the quarter. Cool and teen and Charlie Norris clearing right there on the outside is Flawless Bluestone. Opening quarter 29 and 2. Slow early pace here. Flawless Bluestone looking to stride out and take over. On the inside, Kulantin second. Now up on the outside comes Blur and Sears looking for early position here. Uh, down on the inside, it's Jersey Gal fourth. To the outside goes Lady Lifter fifth as they head towards the half mile. Just like Dream, underway for Campbell from sixth and joining that flow, Hercules. And then on the inside comes Reinvent jammed up near the back of the pack with uh, Courtney Hall joining the flow fourth over at this point. Jalopy at the back of the pack it's blur past the half in 58 and three a dawdling clip in this crown and it's blur taking on lady lifter flawless bluestone left in the box and locked in around the far turn just like dream perfect second over there with campbell hercules tracking her third over on the inside it's a reinvent uh, locked in as they race past three quarters cool and teen rather is locked in on the rail six the stride for stride there with uh, hercules and fourth over and looking to fan out is courtney hall nowhere to go for Jersey Gal. Then it's reinvent near the back with Jalopy trying to do it from last to first. Fans out. 127 and 4. End of the stretch. It's Blur drawing the crowd. Flawless Blues Dawn is locked in. It's Blur. And now swinging off cover after a dream trip. It's just like Dream and Camel with open road. Hercules on the outside. Blur is still there. Just like Dream. And now getting loose. Flawless Blue Stone. Here comes Flawless Blue Stone. Too late. Blur got it. Blur. Flawless Blue Stone. Then just like Dream. 156 six and one blur will make a bid for divisional honors here with this rather decisive victory in the crown tonight her fifth win of the season 156 and one it's back-to-back -back crown victories tonight for brian sears and tron smedshammer and the third of the season for brian sears Making our trophy presentation, Mr. Lee DeVisser, Hamiltonian Society Director, and of course part of the Lee and Linda DeVisser Partnership, the only the a pacer that won three times in the Breeders' Crown, Jenna's Beach Boy. Of course, the DeVisser's part of that ownership. We're down the winner's circle. The same connections now for the three-year-old Trotton Phillies. Tron Smith, Hammer, and Brian Sears. Brian, tell us a little bit about Blur. A lot of backstretch activity here. Yeah, there's going to be a few leaving out of there. I knew Dave was going to go to the front. I was able to follow him up to the up to the lead. I just want to be the last one on the front, and uh, that's the way she likes to race. And she's just been really sharp the last two starts. Third quarter, the key to the race. Yeah, I was able to uh, you know get some soft fractions, and it definitely helped out with a horse like Flawless Boost on your on your back. You need to conserve as much as you can. We didn't get a chance to talk to you. Strong Yankee was giant tonight. Yeah, he was super. Uh, just scoring him down. I knew he, I knew he was really good tonight, and uh, it's it's great great victory. Rock and roll in the tenth. How are we looking? Well, he definitely looks good, and um, hopefully we can get it done. Okay, Brian Sears goes for the money record if he wins with Rock and Roll Hanover, but Tron Smetzhammer's got his own records going on here. How do you teach a horse who likes the front end to fight off horses later on in the career like she seems to be doing? Well, I don't know if you really can uh, teach them that, but uh, she's just sharp. You know, when they sound and fresh, she hasn't raced that much since uh, Hamiltonian Oaks, so she's pretty, uh, still pretty fresh for being uh, late in the year. Stroke play, House of Ruth built, now Blur three years in a row. Can you compare those three? No, it's tough to com compare three uh, fillies in three different years. They were all three great uh, fillies. 16 starts for Blur. Does that make her maybe more prominent as a four-year-old, the fact that she hasn't raced that much? I don't know. She's uh, not the uh, most rugged filly, uh, you know, and she had some uh, soundness issues. Uh, I don't know if she's going to race next year or not. Okay, Tron Smetzhammer's doubled up tonight in the Breeders' Crown. Congratulations.